Copilot recall. Stealing everything you've ever typed or viewed on your own Windows PC is now possible. So hackers and malware can't access it, right? No, no, they can. But it's encrypted. When you're logged into a PC and run software, things are decrypted for you. InfoSteer the Trojans, which automatically steal usernames and passwords, are a major problem for well over a decade. And now these can easily be modified to support recall. Microsoft say only that user can access the data. This isn't true. This database file has a record of everything you've ever viewed on your PC in plain text. And OCR nice. is the process of looking at an image and extracting the letters. That's a feature yeah. you want to turn off. Oh, how do you obtain the database files? They're just files in app data in the new core AI platform folder. Everything a user has ever seen, every bit of text the user has seen with some minor exceptions. Microsoft Edge in private mode is excluded, but Google Chrome incognito mode isn't. <laughs> um, of course. Every user interaction, for example, minimizing a window, there is an API for user activity and third-party apps can plug into it and also view and store data. And it stores every single website you ever visit. If you delete an email, WhatsApp, Signal, Teams message, it stays in recall. So if you find yeah. yourself with a nice, new, shiny Copilot laptop given to you by your organization, ask yourself, what do you do on that laptop? And if you do find yourself away on business and in a hotel room at 11 o'clock at night, don't go playing games on it because they'll know. If you've got non-tech folk in your business, then they might be like, if they're going into Curry's Best Buy, PC world, wherever, to buy a new laptop. The salesperson is going to be, have you seen the new Copilot PCs? It's got AI. And then someone's going to be like, oh, AI, yeah, I'll have some of that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And they buy this, not realizing. The normal workflow when you log into Windows 11, people just next through typically anyway, because it wraps. Do you want this? That email that goes around. That's been going around for years about I've been watching your browsing history and I know everything you've been up to, you naughty boy and stuff. <laughs> you, you know the email I'm talking yeah. about, the kind of sexploitation one. Um, this is almost the gateway to them gathering gathering that data. Yeah, actually like, having it. <laughs> like this is putting it there on a platter for them to take. It's literally mm. like, hi, we're Microsoft and we're going to put all this really good data in a really crap place so you can just come and scoop it up and abuse the user. It's kind of like Jurassic Park, isn't it? Like they were so busy wondering whether they could that no one stopped to think whether or not they should. Mm.